Today, we'll be looking at Rod Auth. Rod Auth is Ruby's most advanced authentication framework designed to work with any rank application. It's built using Rod and SQL, but it can be used with other web applications, database libraries, and databases. Today, we will learn how to implement Rod Auth in, using, in our Rails applications. We use a specific gem known as Rod Auth Rails that provides Rod Auth integration for Rails. To begin, we create our blank Rails application. And with that, we can come around here and add rod to our gem file. And then we can run bundle. And then we'll generate our controller. We'll, we will use Rails generate controller. And we'll call this home. And we'll set the index. And then we will update our routes. So we can simply set the routes of our application to this. Our next step would be simply to install Rodoth. We'll follow the guide right here. If we simply copy Rails generate Rodoth install. You can see it provides us with um, setup instructions similar to device. So we go ahead and add this to our development environment. Come right here at the bottom, so I usually like to add it. And then we've already set the root of our application. We'll set, we'll add this here to our application of HTML.erb file. Right above here. Then we can look at the migrations that were created. So if you come here and we see migrate, you can see this was created by Rodoth. You can see it creates a table called log account where it sets up the email and the password hash. And you can see it also does a few other things for us like adding the login change keys and all whatnot. So we can go ahead and we can run this migration, but let's also generate the views for Rod Auth here. And then we'll run the migration. Ah, I had now just created our database. So we'll run Rails DP prepare to create the database for us and also run the migrations all at once. So with that, we'll generate one more, we'll generate a scaffold and we'll call it article. We'll set the title and content. We'll add account references. This will create a relationship between the account and the article. So we can run Rails DB migrate. So if you go to article, you can see it belongs to account. And Rod also has generated this for us. You can see it also provides us with email, so status, when verified, verified, and closed. Let's also add as many articles. So you can also you can also view the views the routes generated by Rado. It uses a special command instead of Rails routes. You can see because you press the Rado endpoints are handled by the rack middleware, the the Rado routes will not show in Rails routes. You can come here, and paste this in our command line. 
you can see news creator it shows us the the routes and the path for them we can start our server if you simply go here our local let's see this is our root page you can see create account if you do it admin at yahoo.com set a simple password you can create account and you can see an email has been sent to you you with a link to verify your account so if we look here in our console you can see how an account is created you can also see action mail dispatch here which creates an email you can see the email here so if you click here you can see it provides us with a link to verify our account you can click on verify account and our notice tells us that your account has been verified And further add some simple navigation links. So let's go to our application HTML.arb. So right here, we could say if Voda auth Voda auth dot logged in to check if the user is currently logged in. We could do link to let's say change email. We can do road off dot change log in path. We save this, log in. You should have a question mark here. So you go here, you can change our login here. We can also add a link to the change password. Similarly, it should be road off dot change password path you can see it shows up here and let's just say else we want to have our sign up and sign in links you can have sign in you can have rod auth dot log in path I can see and sign up and this is create account path well, we should also add a sign up path so let's do a link to sign out this is rod of that's log out path. Rod off. There we go. So we also created an article scaffold. But here we want to limit it. So we want to limit it so only those who are um signed up can have access to this and similarly if you look at the documentation here you just look at it here you can apply this we can define a method in our application controller that will do this for us it just simply states require authentic authentication so we'll just simply copy this to our application controller Have a 
Articles and Application Controller. And with that, we can go to Articles Controller, since it inherits from here. We can do Before Action Authenticate. So, if we sign out, and go to AC, and go back to Articles, see it requires us to sign in first. We do admin at yahoo.com. Takes us here, so we can go to Articles, and there we go. You can see our article shows up. So right here, we also have access to the current user object. So right here we're on the new page. If I do raise and come here, not on the new page, you click here, and then do current account. And so you have access to the current account, it says the email. So well, since you have access to this current account object, we could come here and ensure that when we're creating a new article or updating it, it uses the correct object. So from here, we can simply do current account dot articles dot build we pass that there you can come down here and update this so we have current account dot articles the find. Let's remove this. We can come here and can say first, second, and we create article. And you can see the ID is already given. And let's go to our form. We can remove this completely. And or another way to set the ID, we give it to a hidden field. And for here, we'll set the value of account ID to be current account ID. So we go back to articles and click on new. We set this to a hidden field. It was, um, leave this as a text field. You can see it shows up. So that is all for this basic authentication. It gives us everything that we desire and everything that we basically need for our authentication.